Dear Claris and Perito, do better. Do better. We were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you! How dare you! Hey, hello, hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing some skincare, not skincare, I'm going to be doing a sunscreen recommendations video. Since summer is right around the corner, I want to recommend you guys some good sunscreen to protect your skin. It's 2021, not wearing sunscreen is ghetto. You're telling me you're purposely gonna let these UVA and UVB sun rays damage your skin so that when you're in your 40s slash 50s, you'll have wrinkly ass skin like that mother in that Spongebob's chocolate episode? Couldn't be me. I wanna be in my 60s looking like I'm 16, okay? So I'm going to wear sunscreen every day, all day, and reapply. All the sunscreens that I'm gonna be recommending in this video are SPF 50 plus, PA plus plus plus, because I only mess with the highest of high SPFs. All the sunscreens are Korean sunscreens that were kindly gifted to me from Dodo Skin, and I think one of them was sent from Wish Trend? Yes, I think so, yeah. I know recently there was a scandal with Dear Claire Soft Airy sunscreen and the Perito Unscented. They were called out because their sunscreens that advertised SPF 50 were not. So that sucks. I own these, so I'm gonna use them up still. Lower SPF isn't bad. You just need to reapply more often throughout the day to make sure that your skin is protected. But it really sucked that that had to happen because they were good products, but hopefully they get their ish together soon. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some alternative Korean sunscreens that weren't affected by that controversy. Well, that I know of. If these products that I mentioned in this video are affected, please let me know kindly down below and I will correct myself in the description box. I will be doing a part two where I mention more Western sunscreens. I know for sure Supergoop and some other brands are really popular right now. So if there's a sunscreen that you want me to try, tell me down below and I'll try it. Before we begin this video, please don't forget to like comment down below anything, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I upload because I heard YouTube has not been notifying my subscribers of my uploads, which I find very trifling of YouTube. You know, YouTube, you can catch these hands. No, no violence over here. Without further ado, let's just get right into this video. Disclaimer first, I hate disclaimers, but I gotta do it. I'm not a skin specialist. I'm not a dermatologist. I'm just a girl here on YouTube that likes to make skincare content. And that's really it. If you are having any issues with your skin, please don't come to me about that. I'm not the right person. Everything I say in this video is based on my own opinion and my own skin. My skin is combination dry. So take that as you will. And that's all I gotta say for that disclaimer. Now on to the recommendations. First, we'll just start with physical sunscreens, just because why not? First, we have the Estude House Sun Prize Mild Airy Finish Sun Milk. This has an SPF of 50 plus. It's a mineral slash physical sunscreen. So the key ingredients, I will butcher this, I'm so sorry, are on Ondensia Dignata, seed oil, centella extract, hyaluronic acid, those ingredients promote wound healing, viscum album, which is mistletoe, leaf extract, and aloe barbondensis, leaf juice, you know aloe that heals sunburns, yeah, that ingredient, which is soothing and it's skin conditioning. When I initially tried this product a month ago, I didn't even know it was a physical sunscreen because it blended into the skin so effortlessly. I really thought this was a chemical sunscreen. Since this is a sun milk consistency, so it does blend away nicely and it doesn't leave any heaviness or greasy feeling on your face. This also would work well underneath makeup since it does have that soft, light, airy finish. When you initially apply it, you do see a you know, a slight little something. Like you can tell that there's a slight tint to your skin. However, if you just wait a couple of minutes, it does disappear and make your skin look amazing. I recommend to anyone who wants a physical sunscreen that is not heavy and does not leave a terrible, ghostly white cast. Recommend. The second and last physical sunscreen that I have to recommend is the Rovectin Skin Essentials Aqua Soothing UV Protector. This has SPF 50 plus, PA plus 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 plus. Key ingredients, niacinamide and vitamin E, which is anti-aging and brightening on the skin. Centella Asiatica, I 
hate saying that. Extract benefits, it's alcohol, paraben, and sulfate free. It's hydrating, helps to brighten your skin while improving the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. And it completely defends against daily free radical damages. This product, I quite enjoy it. However, <laughs> when you initially apply this to your skin, it may scare you a bit, like it did me. It scared the crap out of me. I, it's very opaque, which is a given because it is a physical sunscreen and physical sunscreens are thicker and heavier. But once you do blend it and rub it in, it will leave quite the white cast for a smidge bit. But if you wait two, three minutes, I promise you, the white cast will go away and your skin will be nice and protected and moisturized. Even though this is a thicker physical sunscreen, it doesn't feel heavy or greasy on the skin. Once you really let the sunscreen sit on, sit on your face, you're left with this nice velvety, and I mean velvety finish, where your skin just feels nice. It feels as though if you were to apply concealer or foundation on top of it, it would just ooh, go on so smooth and buttery. Heads up. Really make sure to blend her in around the edges of your hair because I remember one time I blended it on my face nice however around the perimeter you saw a little demarcation and it wasn't wasn't that obvious but it still was not nice it does smell a bit lavendery because it does contain lavender essential oil so if you are very sensitive to essential oils and fragrances maybe skip out on this great product that contains great ingredients you just need more time with her you just need to work with her a smidge bit more which I will have to admit, it's not easy. I, for sure, if I'm running late in the morning, will not apply the sunscreen because you need to work with her a bit or else you will look slightly weird. However, when she's blended in, she's amazing and she does her job and she looks great. So now on to chemical. Chemical sunscreens, I personally prefer them over physical just because I am lazy, okay? And I just don't be having the time and energy to really work with a sunscreen to blend in. Um, even though I think people say that physical sunscreens are better for black people, apparently. I don't know the theory behind it, but they be saying like phys chemical sunscreens can cause inner damage in black people's skin. I don't know if it's true or not. That's, that's what I think I heard, but I honestly just don't care. In my opinion, as long as you wear sunscreen, that's all that really matters. The first chemical recommendation is the NBYS Re Your Skin Sun Essence. The key ingredients in this is birch tree sap, which is called life-saving water of nature due to the rich amino acids, proteins, minerals that give an excellent effect on the skin, moisturizing and soothing. So birch tree sap, I never heard of that ingredient before, but reading about it for um, this video, I for sure am intrigued by it. And I think more companies you should be adding these cool ingredients in products except the typical hyaluronic acid nice and my like blah 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 we get it whatever like give us some cool ingredients it really soaks into the skin nicely it honestly feels like you're applying a primer to your face but this primer will protect your skin and since this is a chemical essence type sunscreen it blends into the skin effortlessly to give no white cast whatsoever yeah i quite enjoy this sunscreen it blends in nicely doesn't have a smell and Honestly, great ingredients. We'd recommend this for all skin types. So yeah, all skin types, oily, dry combination. I feel as though this product is moisturizing enough for people with dry skin, but still not overly moisturizing where people with oily skin will have clogged pores and be a greasy ball of mess. I've never heard of NBYS before, but after trying this sunscreen, I'm really curious to see how their other products perform. Next chemical sunscreen is the Brit V10 UV Shield Moisture Essence Sun. The key ingredients are niacinamide, once again, anti-aging, brightening the skin, fentanyl and centella, I'm not even gonna bother saying that word, extract, which once again, promotes wound healing. Seeing a pattern here. And it is another essence type chemical sunscreen. This will blend into the skin effortlessly, make a great primer for underneath your makeup while also protecting your skin. Double bonus, double homicide. <laughs> you just had an abortion? Twins? Twins. Mm. Yeah, double homicide. 
bitch. I'm sorry. No, just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That that meme is so disrespectful, but so funny at the same time. It's anti-pollution, anti-blue light, which I think is great, especially since we're all on our phones all the time. We need protection from our phone screens. We do. The blue light that radiates off our phone screens, we need protection from that. So I love that the sunscreen also fights against that. This product does have a slight citrusy smell to it because it does contain lavender and citrus orange essential oils. So if you do have sensitive skin, those ingredients may irritate your skin. And there is a shine when you apply this at first. When I applied it to my skin, I did look like a disco ball a bit when I initially applied this. It was a bit shiny at first. However, I noticed wearing it for a little bit, the shine did go away. But just beware, you will look a bit greasy a bit. But how, even though you do look greasy, it doesn't feel greasy on the skin. If anything, it feels very moisturizing. There's moisture in the name of it. It's moisturizing. So I for sure would recommend this for people with dry skin. Oily skin peeps might stay away from this or you may or may not look like a grease ball. I don't know. The last and final sunscreen I have to recommend is the Misha Aqua All-Around Safe Block Aqua Sun Gel. Why was that a mouthful? I don't know. It has SPF 50 plus PA++++. It's a chemical sunscreen, of course. This one isn't a essence type. This is more of a gel type sunscreen. The key ingredients are Morax Alba Fruit Extract, which is great for brightening the skin's overall complexion. Camellia Sensences... Sensences? Sensences? <laughs> Sinensis leaf extract, which is an antioxidant, skin conditioning, and skin protecting ingredient. Butylene glycol, which is a humectant, so it will attract the moisture in the air into your skin. Out of all the sunscreens I mentioned in this video, this one right here has got to be my favorite. It's, I love the gel consistency. Why is my hair sticking up like that? That's embarrassing. Hair. Stay in place. It has a skin cooling effect since it is a sun gel. It just feels so heavenly on your skin, especially for the summer. Amazing. I'm honestly in love with this product. If I can marry a sunscreen, this would be my Prince Charming and we'd live happily ever after together. This sunscreen, all skin types, wear it. Literally all skin types. So lightweight, so moisturizing, yet still being not greasy at all and sitting on the skin so nice. I could not name you a better summer sunscreen. This is it. This is it. Works amazing, does its thing. Amazing, beautiful, wonderful. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular. Put it in a blender, shit on it, vomit on it, eat it, give birth to it. Get it. That's all I have to say. Get that sunscreen. So those are all my Korean sunscreens recommendations. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys end up getting any of these products or if you have tried any, any of these products before, please let me know down below. I'd love to start a conversation with you guys and just talk about sunscreens. I love sunscreens. Once again, I will be doing a part two to this video for more Western skincare suggestions. So subscribe and stay tuned for that. Hello? 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 I'm just finishing up the video. I'll be quiet. Okay. <laughs> Do your goodbyes, babe. Okay. <laughs> All these products will be listed down below. Thank you again, Dodo Skin and Wish Trend for sending me, gifting me these sunscreens to try and review for you guys. Uh, not review, but suggest for you guys. <laughs> Once again, please don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.